So in addition to looking at uh, categorical data uh, via a uh, table, we can also visualize it. And we can visualize it in something called a bar chart. So in the bar chart, what we're going to have is we're going to have the categories in general are going to be on the x-axis. So our category not too happy, pretty happy, very happy. And then on the y-axis is going to be the count. What will be the number in each of these categories? So we see here that not too happy is a little bit, um, is maybe, I forgot what the actual number was. Um, oops, went up one too many, 30. So we see it's 30, so it's about 30 is right there. This is like 324. And then this value here was like 600, it, maybe 650 or something. I don't remember the exact number. And so this is known as a bar chart. It's not a histogram, it's called a bar chart. Um, and sometimes you'll see this uh, flip so that the categories are actually on the y-axis and the count is on the x-axis, and that's okay. It doesn't really matter how you do it. It's all visualizing the same thing. So hopefully, um, by looking at this, this chart, you're able to see, wow, most people look like they're happy in their marriage, right? So the overwhelming majority of people are either pretty happy or very happy, and then we can see that most people are uh, very happy, um, and then there's only a very few people that are unhappy in their marriage. <clears throat> now, rather than visualizing the counts, we could visualize the proportions. And so that's what we're seeing here. Um, instead of having the counts on the, uh, on the y-axis, we'll have proportions. And so these are just the proportions that we calculated for in that relative frequency table from before. And you should notice, if you move back and forth between these two slides, so if I go up and then down, that these have the exact same shape. And they should because they're just being divided by the same number, right? So all of those categories are being divided by 922. So they're going to have the exact same shape. And again, this, this number, um, <clears throat> this number up here, plus this number up here, plus this number up here are going to sum up to one. And that's a proportion. And, but if you, over here, this number, this number, and this number are gonna sum up to 922. Right, so we're just taking this value and dividing it by 922, 922, 922, and we're getting this, this uh, figure down here. So they're the identical figures. So when you're making a bar chart in class, um, in stat key, I mean stat crunch, excuse me, not stat key, um, it doesn't matter if you're uh, creating proportions or you're visualizing categories. They're going to be the same shape. Now, an important part of statistics is learning notation. So we represent the, the proportion that we calculate based on our sample, which we're going to call our sample proportion, by this P with a hat on it. And so we call it P hat. Okay, and that's P hat, not fat. I'll actually just make sure that that looks a little bit more clear. So it's P because it's the letter P. And this little carrot here, this is a hat. So it's putting its hat on. So it's P hat. So we call it P hat. Now, the population proportion, which is the proportion that we're actually interested in, right? Because if you remember, we learned in section 1.2 that we do statistics in order to make inferences about our population. When we're, when we're calculating a sample proportion, it's because we're interested in talking about a population proportion. And so this population proportion we represent by just P. So it doesn't have the hat on. It's just represented by P. <clears throat> so the sample proportion is a type of, or an example of a statistic, while the population proportion is a type of, or an example of a parameter. Statistics describe samples, and parameters describe populations. So this will describe a sample, this will describe a population, we're going to learn um, throughout the semester that sample statistics vary and that population parameters are fixed. So the population parameter never changes, but our sample statistics vary. And that's an important component of statistics because if our sample statistics didn't vary, um, then we would never have to use statistics at all. We could just calculate a number and we're done. But because of this fact that sample statistics vary, uh, we're going to use the language of probability in order to talk about our population parameter. So another important thing to note here is that, is that a statistic is, our, is an estimate of a parameter 
And when we're calculating a sample statistic, uh, it's going to be our best estimate of our population parameter. And it's going to um, also be what we're later going to call a point estimate of our population parameter. So in our sample, we found that the proportion of married respondents that describe their marriage as very happy was 0.64. Is this a statistic or is it a parameter? So I encourage you to think about that for a second. So it's going to be a statistic, right? Because it's calculated based on our sample of um, 600, uh, 922 participants or respondents. And we can write it formally as p hat equals 0 0.64. So that's how we would write it. And that's going to be our estimate of our population parameter.